So welcome everybody. As Minister said, we're delighted to see everybody here for this day event looking at childhood and youth together with European citizenship, which is not an obvious combination. It's not something that we very often have the opportunity to really talk about in depth. The reason that this opportunity came up, um, just to explain a little bit about the background to this project, was that um, the Sussex European Institute, which is the institute um, at Sussex that I am one of the co-directors of, we asked the European Commission, the European Commission representation in the UK, for a sum of money to put on a series of events around the theme of connecting with citizens. And we did this in conjunction with an organisation called New Europeans, of which we have Tamara Flanagan, who's here, uh, here in the green, and we'll be talking later. So together we put um, forward a proposal to run a series of five events, which would be promoting European citizenship and exploring the values, the rights, the implications that go hand in hand with this concept of citizenship from a European Union perspective, which of course has been with us now for 20 years or so, but has only more gradually come to people's attention. Those events, those five events, have run through 2013, 2014, and this is the third of those events. So we've already had events around citizenship and migration, very hot topic, and citizenship and the European Parliament elections, again, very hot topic. And the third event then is our event today, which is about youth and connecting young people with citizenship rights. The other two events that we're going to run later on in the year, we've got an event in July, which is on citizenship rights and justice, which has a more legalistic aspect to it. And then our final event in September, again here at Sussex, is going to be looking at the future of Europe and what is the future for European citizenship. So just to kind of flag those other events if you're interested, please keep in touch with us. The umbrella organisation then, Sussex European Institute, which is one of the institutes involved in today's activities, the other Melissa will talk about, um, is it's an institute which is now recognised as one of the university's research centres, and it's been a research centre within the university for 20 years now. I'm one of the co-directors of that, and I'm from the law school, but the European Institute is very much an interdisciplinary institute, and you know, we also have the collaboration with social work here. So we work across a range of disciplines, law, politics, sociology, social work, but also with global studies, geography, um, and other departments as well. And our aim is to promote research and, and policy making and ideas within the area of European studies. So it's quite a broad church. And personally, I'm, I'm a European lawyer, I have an interest in rights, citizenship, human rights, and it's in that context that I came to this project as co-director of the SEI. So we're very happy to be working with the Centre in Education and Social Work, which Melissa is part of, and which I think she's going to say something about as well. All right. Um, so as the sort of as the co-organiser um, of this event, um, I'm located in, in social work, as um, Sue mentioned, but also a member of the Centre for Innovation and Research in Childhood and Youth, or CERCI, um, as we're known for short. Um, and so we come to this sort of topic on today's um, event from the kind of childhood and youth perspective. Um, and I'll say a bit more about that in a moment. So like um, SEI, uh, we're also a university research centre, um, and we're interdisciplinary and with an international research focus around children and young people's um, experiences. Um, unlike SCI, we've only been around for the last three years, so we're very much the kind of new kid on the block. Um, but we're, we're very delighted to be able to co-organise um, this event with, with SCI. Um, so in terms of some of the things that Circe does, uh, we, we've organised ourselves around a number of themes which on the face of it perhaps don't speak to citizenship um, explicitly. So things like digital childhoods, um, what constitutes a good childhood, 
Um, we've got a theme of emotion and emotional lives running through a lot of our research. And also this idea of extraordinary lives, so children who perhaps are excluded for one, for one reason or another from education, children in care, migrants, global elites. Um, so we're at, at this sort of third year mark of the centre, we're at a, a moment of kind of reflecting on some of these research themes and, and our centre director has uh, just walked in, sorry Rachel, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel Professor Rachel Thompson who heads up um, Cersei, we thought she was going to walk in inconspicuously. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're in the process of sort of rethinking some of our um, research themes and one of the kind of themes that, as a thread that runs through the, the four themes that I mentioned, is this idea of a focus on children's everyday lives. Um, so very much kind of grounded micro approach, um, lived experience, social practices of childhood and youth, and a strong emphasis of, on children and young people as kind of actors and being creative um, uh, makers of their own lives. And so in this sense, citizenship speaks to us more as a kind of um, the social dimensions of citizenship and the relational um, dimensions of, of citizenship, of which I think we're going to hear quite a bit about today through the various um, presentations. Um, as similarly, um, as, as Sue mentioned, my own sort of personal interest in the topic are around the participation dimensions of citizenship, um, creating new publics, and in particular the role of, of more recently younger children, so children of primary school age, how they come to think about um, activism, citizenship, their rights, which is an area where I think we're quite comfortable in thinking about youth in terms of citizenship and political identities, but when it comes to much younger children I think we become very, very uncomfortable. Um, and that's something I'm very interested in. So the, the links and the resonance with the Sue's Connecting the Citizens Project um, is around the extent of participation in European, of European citizenships in public life and counting children and, and young people very much within that category, even if they're legal constraints um, around that. Um, so I think that's, that's it in terms of sort of setting the scene a little bit. We've got a number of lovely presentations um, here today. Um, I'll just do a brief overview. So we've got um, Helen Stalford from, from Liverpool um, up next, who's going to talk about the relevance of European Union citizenship to children. Um, I'm delighted that we've got colleagues from the University of Athens with us um, today. So Professor Thalia Narana and, and Professor Anna Fragundaghi will be talking about a very special project in, in northern Greece, in Thrace, which is a very contested uh, geographical and political um, area. Um, followed by this afternoon, um, Jed, uh, Judy, um, Professor Judy Sieber, who used to be here at uh, Sussex, um, who's now at Oxford, looking at UNICEF's right, rights respecting schools. And we've got also Patrick Kirby with us, who I think was involved in, in that evaluation. And then finally, exploring the discourses of EU citizenship, um, Tamara Flanagan from New Europeans. And then I'm hoping we'll have a panel discussion and time for, for questions, and, well, questions to ask. 